Hi everyone. So um, class starts today. So um, what I want to do is kind of talk you through this video. We'll uh, talk you through how to uh, navigate Blackboard uh, if you're not used to it. Um, so again, uh, uh, all other videos won't be in emails. They will be in Blackboard. Uh, but I wanted to send this one uh, through an email so that um, uh, if you were having some issues with Blackboard, uh, then uh, you could uh, uh, you could watch this and figure out how to get in. So um, when you after you click on uh, uh, my class, ENGL 102 Fall 220 is the name of it. I have that up here, ENGL 102 Fall 220, writing about literature. Uh, don't worry about the section number. If you have a different section number, that's fine. It's all going to show up exactly the same. Um, and you'll land on this page, kind of a welcome page I have here. Welcome to writing about literature for fall of 2020. And over on the left hand side, uh, uh, I've got you know, the welcome. That's this page. Contact information. If you click don't click on that, it's got my email address and my phone number. Uh, announcements over the course of the semester. When I send you out emails, uh, uh, they will uh, be cataloged here in the announcements. So if for some reason you delete the email or something, you can always go into the announcements and see what I've sent you. Uh, and then down here, it has uh, August 26th or 27th getting started. So I'm organizing the course by weeks. So you've got August 26th or 27th. That's um, uh, today and tomorrow. I'm working on a Monday through Thursday schedule, so we just have today and tomorrow. Uh, and so there are a few things that you need to do there. Um, when you, uh, as, as the class goes on, there will be other links down here right? Um, underneath the August 26th and 27th will be the ones for next week. I think it's what's next week, uh, um, you know, going through the first week of September. And I'll go through week by week. So uh, that's not up yet. It'll be up in the next day or two. Uh, and when that's up, then uh, you'll see it. But don't worry about uh, what's happening then. Just get through uh, the next couple of days. So you've got that. You've got this link for discussion boards. You will have links to discussion boards inside of um, the folders, but I have that there as well. And here's where you can look at your grades. Um, so uh, um, again, you'll you'll see that, and all you'll really need to do for today is go to August 26th through 27th. Uh, I'm going to click on that. Um, it uh, when I'm recording, it sometimes takes a little while for my computer to respond. So we're going to have to wait a second while it uh, while it comes up. Actually, it didn't take too long. Um, and then in, so inside of this folder. Um, uh, I'm going to organize all the folders in the same way. I'm going to start off with getting started instructions, what it is that you need to, um, uh, to do in this folder. Um, and then I'll put things in order of what it says there. So the getting started instructions, the first thing it says is to read the syllabus, to review the schedule of assignments through September. Uh, and then down here, these are videos. And I say down here, click here to watch the first video you need to watch. Also, there are questions embedded in the video that you will need to respond to. So I'm using this um, program called uh, PlayPosit. Uh, and uh, it will take it takes videos and uh, adds questions in there, multiple choice questions, fill in the blank questions. So you watch the video and then respond to the questions inside of there. And those questions become part of your grade. So um, you have to watch the videos, see um, what I'm saying and respond to the questions. And there are three of them uh, uh, of those in here. The, uh, this one's just about the nature of the class theme. Uh, this is about an asynchronous class in my office hours. This is an overview of the uh, assignments for the class for the semester, how they're going to work. I'm going to uh, work through assignments for the semester. Uh, down here, this video is some basic information about how to use Blackboard. Um, it's not a lot, just a, a couple of things that goes uh, uh, a couple of things in there. Um, I also provide information in that video about a class that you can take that will help you uh, navigate Blackboard if you're not used to that. Um, so this isn't a required video, but if you need any help with Blackboard, if you're all unsure about it, uh, I recommend you look at this and then recommend you take the class. The class, by the way, is not a credit class. You, you know, if you don't do well in the Blackboard class, you're not going to fail. It's just there to help you uh, learn how to navigate Blackboard. Um, so uh, you'll need to look at all that. I've got a student profile survey. Um, I just want you to fill this out 
and just find out some basic information about you, um, what your major is, what uh, what year you're in, um, um, just uh, what kind of technology you have at home, things like that that will help me, as I say, the information from the survey will help me organize the class in a way that, best, that will best suit everyone's needs. So please, if you'll fill that out. And then I've got a link to Ask Me Anything down here. Um, uh, again, you don't have to complete this, but if you have any questions, you can always go into the discussion board, ask me anything. Uh, I set this up, and uh, if you have any questions, you can ask me a question. Uh, you actually get one point if you ask a question, uh, but what I'll ask that you do is before you post a question, look to see if somebody else has already posted. That's one of the nice things <clears throat> about a discussion board. Uh, you can look on there and say, oh, somebody else already asked this question. Now I have an answer to it. Uh, but if you uh, have any kind of general questions about the course, go ahead and ask them there. If you have the question, somebody else probably has it as well. So uh, it makes sense to go ahead and ask them there. And again, like I said, you get one point of extra credit uh, for each question uh, that you're going to ask. So um, that's what we have in the folder. So again, you start with the getting started instructions. They're numbered. It takes you through specifically what you need to do in the order in which you need to do them. Uh, so all that should be pretty clear. And so you're just going to work through all the items in this folder. Uh, again, I will get the folder for next week set up um, so that by the weekend, definitely you can be, if you're you know ready to get started, you need to you know uh, budget your time in such a way that you can get started on next week. Uh, I'll have that up in the next day or two. So again, definitely by the weekend, you'll have that. But this should be enough to keep you busy, uh, um, uh, at least for today. Um, so uh, that's what we have for that. Again, any kind of questions you have, make sure to just uh, shoot me an email um, or, as I said, uh, um, ask me anything. Oh, and I guess you can also uh, reach me during my office hours. Again, uh, between 12 and 1, you can call me. Uh, all that information is in, um, you'll see in here, but you could uh, uh, reach me during my office hours. I'm um, here at my desk between 12 and 1. Um, you've got the phone number when you get to asynchronous class and office hours. You'll see what my phone number is. Also, you can always find my phone number here and contact information. Uh, but if you uh, call me uh, between 12 and 1, I'll pick up the phone. So you can call me, email me, uh, post to ask me anything if you have any kinds of questions. Um, and uh, again, welcome to the class, and uh, we'll move on from here.